Hey guys, what's up? There are a ton of angles, different adjustments on these cars. You got towing, you have kick up, you have camber, caster, anti squat, roll center. What is all of this stuff? What did I just say? It seemed like I was speaking in a different language. So, this series is my attempt to uh, help you to understand how to, adjust a, how to adjust your car, how to use those adjustments to uh, really help you dial in your car better for the track. So, Let's get started. Hello and welcome to another uh, one of my videos, one of Trax's Rockhead videos. Today, as you can already see in the video title, we are going to talk about uh, Roll Center. So, <clears throat> this is uh, an aesthetic, aesthetic il uh, illustration um, in real life. You know, your suspension is moving, going up and down and stuff. So these points change, but this is just static, so you guys can uh, can understand what that is. All right. Uh, simply put, roll center is the distance between the ball stud and the hinge pin, basically. You know, boiling it down. Now, if you actually want to know what roll center is, like how how it came to be and how it how it how you get it, uh, I'm gonna explain that. But if you don't, just uh, skip to this number on the screen so i'm not really sure what it is because i haven't, haven't edited this yet and that'll just shoot you straight to like how to adjust and that kind of stuff but if you want to actually know how you find it how you get it i'm going to tell you all right so um if you draw a line from the camber link and the suspension arm all the way out into infinity just just keep on drawing it out eventually at some point they will intersect and they will cross each other and where that cross where they intersect is called the instant center now if we do another line from the instant center to the center of the tire the center of the uh, contact patch and we do that for both sides where the lines for going from the contact patch to the instant center is called the roll center. Am I going too fast? You can always rewind this video and look at it over and over again. Took me a while to get it, but once you get it, you got it. Don't need it, don't want it, don't got it, don't matter. Yeah. Anyway, so yes, the distance from the roll center to the center of gravity is called the roll moment. Now, okay, so we, got, we have a line going from the roll center to the center of gravity of the car. The way how this works, how roll center kind of works, is a good, uh, a good illustration that I heard that helped me explain it, helped me understand it, is like a figure skater. Yes, it's like, it's like when a figure skater starts out, you know, and they go into one of their, uh, their, one of their spin sequences, and then they bring their arms closer and closer together. They get start spinning faster and faster because uh, more of their mass is spinning on the axis of rotation. So, so the same concept, the same concept is uh, is like here. So, if you have a high roll center and a low CG, the car will be able to transfer, will be able to turn left and right a lot quicker because that line is shorter. Just like the figure skater bring in more of the energy, more of the mass into the center of. Uh, onto the axis of rotation. Same thing is happening here with the car. All right. If you have a low roll center and a high center of gravity, that'll make the car roll more. More and more weight will go over the tires, creating more grip. All right. So typically, high traction usually means a, a high roll center. All right. Now, this is how you adjust roll center, all right? Freaking yeah. So, you have your ball studs, right? Looking at the back ball studs. Ball studs, man, just look at them, they're so stud-like. Mm. Uh, <laughs> so, if you're adjusting the inside ball studs, you, if you raise the ball stud, it's actually lowering your roll center. If you lower the ball stud, you're actually raising the roll center so it's just the opposite whatever you're doing if you're adjusting the inside ball stud that is the one that's closest to the center line of a car but if you're adjusting if you happen to have vertical ball studs on your uh 
on your hub carrier, then if you raise it, if you raise the ball stud height, you're actually raising the roll center. Uh, but if you lower it, you are lowering the roll center. Now, why why is that? Do we're going back just real quick? All right, because um, as you push the ball studs up, it'll act it'll lower the instant center down. I know it doesn't make sense, but hopefully this animation will help you guys. So that's one way to do it. Some ways, another way to do it, so you can adjust the height of the hinge pin mount. Um, I know the 22 series, I know my uh, SCT uh, 2.0 can do it. Um, you can actually, there's different shims and stuff you can stick underneath of the rear mount um, the, to, to raise, to lower and raise the roll center. But the most common way, common way is to um, use the ball studs. Use the ball studs to adjust it. So really you use roll center to generate grip, generate traction. You need a little bit more traction or if you want to take it away uh, you know mess around with the roll center a little bit to uh, to make your car hopefully hook up better or push a little bit if that's what you want to do all right freaking uh freaking sweet <laughs> all right so thank you guys so much for watching i hope this series is helping you guys really tune in your cars for bashing for the track for whatever and let me know if all of this stuff is, if, if ma doing this is is, is helping um you know that's 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 why that's why I wanted to make this is to help you guys and I'm I'm learning stuff you know what I'm saying all right so that's uh, that's it thank you guys for tuning in see you again next time. Hello? Check, 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 one, two, check, three, four, <coughs> check, one, two, check, three, four, check, five, six, check, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, okay, and, excuse me, <coughs> it's a little different because it's going to be a lot of graphics, a lot of moving parts, and I didn't think actually having my car here would help, but who knows, maybe uh, this is... It really would help. Okay, anyway. So, I'm going to be talking. And here we go. So, is called... Oh, just got a text. Okay. Typically. Typically. You got to be a figure skater, guys. You got to... You got to... It's got to be pretty. <laughs> what?